Forever Home Adoption Center opened in October 2010 with a mission to relieve the suffering of homeless animals. Currently located at 5984 Main Street, East Petersburg, Pennsylvania, they are a 501c3 nonprofit organization who are very proud to be the only all-volunteer, no-kill, cage-free animal facility in Lancaster County. What exactly is Forever Home Adoption Center? Forever Home Adoption Center is a nonprofit 501c3 registered rescue that shelters primarily cats and kittens. You advertise that this is a no-kill shelter. How do you provide continuous care to the animals that don't get adopted? When we accept a cat here, it's here no matter how long it takes for it to be adopted. How long has this adoption center been standing? We just celebrated our third anniversary. We opened up in September of 2010. Three years, what's that like? Um, it was a very happy, joyous occasion. Um, it gives us the opportunity to catch up on cats that were previous, previously adopted. Um, a lot of times the adopters will bring photographs in and share them with us. Um, it's also a, a large fundraiser for us. Um, it's Like I said, it's a very happy, joyous occasion for us. Are there any challenges that come with running an all-volunteer program? Yes, um, I guess one of the main challenges right now for us is getting the word out that we actually exist um, and that we're open for adoptions. Um, we are a small facility, but we try to save and rescue as many cats as we can, and it, it's, it would be very beneficial um, to get the word out that we exist and people can come to us and adopt from us so we can save more lives. Can you briefly describe your application process to people who would like to adopt an animal? We do have a very thorough adoption process. That process includes filling out an application and listing references, both personal references and a veterinary reference. Our application asks questions such as um, how many people live in your home, are there any other pets in your home such as dogs or cats, children. We try to match the family with the cat that would best blend into their family. How many animals currently live here? Currently we have 21, a combination of 21 cats and kittens at our facility and about 12 to 15 that are currently in foster care waiting to come to our facility. What kind of exercises do the animals receive each day? Are they allowed to wander around freely inside? Um, they get a lot of free time out of their cages. We are a primarily cage-free environment. Um, so most of the time they are running free either in our lobby area like they are at the moment or um, we also have what we call colony rooms instead of cages where groups of cats that get along together um, live in these rooms. When the volunteers are here after they're done with their morning and evening cleaning they, um, they actually interact and play with the cats so they get ample free time out of their enclosures um, and playing with their so can you describe what a typical day here at Forever Home is like? Um, a typical day would involve, like I just said, um, the volunteers coming in the morning for about two hours every morning and about two hours every evening, even on the days we're not open. We have volunteers that come that do um, maintenance of the facility, cleaning, vacuuming. They also scoop, um, scoop litter boxes, clean cages, and make sure the cats have fresh food and water. What can you tell me about some of the specific animals here? Um, we have, of the 21 we have right now, we have kittens that just came in this week from foster care. We also have a large male gray cat named Doe, who's our longest resident. He's been here for about two and a half years, who actually, um, just this past week, has a potential adopter, which is very exciting. I understand that you have a cat in your care that has received a lot of media attention lately. Can you tell us anything about AJ the cat that was shot by an arrow or how he's doing today? AJ is doing great. His wounds have healed. Um, he's learning to be, be a cat again. Um, his physical wounds have healed, but his mental wounds are still healing. He's learning to trust people, learning to trust our volunteers. He is actually up for adoption now to, to the right home. He needs a home that's going to be very patient, 
um, and, and his recovery process, a very quiet home would be good for him. Um, his front chest had exited about right here, and he had a big area of raw skin here that was exposed, but it's all healed and new fur is grown back now. He's still leery of loud noises and people that he doesn't know, but he's made great progress since he came here. I understand that you recently received a litter of kittens here. How often do you receive new animals here in the center? Uh, it depends. Uh, this, this particular week we had about five kittens that came in from foster care. Um, two of them are race, racing and running around now as we speak. Um, we, I guess our greatest need right now is to have more adoptions so, that pe the, the, so people know that we exist and we can have more adoptions and be able to accept more cats. Like, like AJ and cats that are possibly hard to place, like Doe. Is it difficult to let the cats go once they find a new home? I'm, I'm assuming that you grow very close to them over the years. Yes, um, that is, that's a bittersweet moment when a, a cat or a kitten is adopted from us, um, especially a long-term resident like Doe that's been with us almost three years. We do come very attached to them. Um, but because of our, our application process, um, we, we feel confident that we've made a perfect match for them. But it, it is hard because, like I said, we do become attached and it's hard to see them go. But it is a happy occasion. But there occasionally are tears shed when they leave. If someone wanted to donate or help out with this organization, where would they go or what would they do? Uh, you can actually come to our facility and make a donation, either a, a donation of items such as food or cat litter or uh, a money donation. You can also um, go to our website. We are hooked up to or with PayPal and you can make a donation, um, either a one-time donation or a reoccurring monthly donation through our PayPal account. Well, thank you so much for your time. Thank you. If you would like to make a donation, go to foreverhomeadoptioncenter.com and click donate on the left hand side menu. Then follow the link for either a one-time or monthly donation.